let's learn about volcano let's first see what is a volcano a volcano is an opening in the earth's surface that allows hot magma gas and ash to escape from beneath the crust when magma erupts it is called lava Volcanoes look like a lot of other mountains or large hills. But unlike other mountains, they can erupt. sending fiery lava and smoke into the area around them Some volcanic eruptions are so explosive that they can affect the entire planet In 1815 Mount Tambora erupted and released so much ash into the air that it blocked out large amounts of sunlight temperatures around the world dropped for months afterward it was so extreme that 1816 became known as the year without a summer Let's now learn why volcanoes form. Volcanoes form due to geological processes involving the movement of tectonic plates, the build up of magma and the release of pressure from the earth's interior. Do you know what is magma and lava? Let's understand. Magma is molten or semi-molten rock beneath the earth's surface. It forms when rocks melt due to the high temperatures and pressures found deep within the earth. Magma 
Magma is less dense than the surrounding solid rock, so it rises to the surface where it can erupt from volcanoes. Lava is the name given to the molten rock that erupts from volcanoes. It can reach temperatures over 1000 degrees Celsius and flows like a river of fire. Fresh lava ranges from 700 to 1200 degrees centigrade in temperature. It glows red as it flows out of the volcano's opening. As it cools, it hardens into rock. Mount Etna Mount Fuji Stromboli Payday Humans and Volcanoes There are a lot of historical incidents of volcanic eruption and how it impacted mankind. Around 70,000 years ago, human faced near extinction due to Toba supervolcano eruption. It triggered a volcanic winter and severe food scarcity. Global population dropped to only 5,000 to 1,000 individuals. But we survived and recovered from that, highlighting our resilience at the time of vulnerability due to human disasters. In 79 AD, the Italian town of Pompeii was destroyed and buried by a volcano called Mount Vesuvius. Let's understand the difference between active and dormant volcanoes. Understanding the differences between active and dormant volcanoes is crucial for assessing volcanic hazards and monitoring potential eruptions. While dormant volcanoes may seem inactive, they can still pose risks if they awaken after long periods of dormancy. Monitoring and research are essential to predict volcanic behavior and ensure public safety. The dormant volcanoes are those which have not erupted in a long time but may still erupt in the future.
On the other hand, active volcanoes are those that have erupted recently or show signs of potential eruption. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Happy Happy Kids. Thanks for watching.